Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare this week, part one. One day, we looked at a new study on how screen exposure, specifically between the ages of one and two, may drastically impair how the brain develops over time, which is not the same as those who had screen time between ages three and four. We also looked at a new JAMA study in Australia looking at students who are gender and sexually diverse, and we found that they were more likely to suffer from clinical depression as well as clinical anxiety. California announced it will be dropping its Medicaid payments for certain drugs, specifically GLP-1 drugs, for those who are using it just for obesity or weight loss. At a major study out of cell that looked how melanoma is actually tricking the immune system by making decoy particles to distract it. New York has recorded over 70,000 flu cases this season alone, making it the highest since it's ever recorded in 2003. And everyone's favorite study that we talked about was using virtual reality to force men to be catcalled to see how they liked it compared to women. That's all the major news for this week's follow for part two. And I have a link in my bio to my Substack where I do a weekly summary of all the news all in one spot.